the men's basketball team started off the season on a five game winning streak. The best start since 1985. And one of the biggest reasons, Vlad Moldovenu. He's averaging 20 points a game. Let's meet him. I got interested in basketball because of my parents. It just came natural to me. I didn't even think about it. It was like second nature to me. Uh, I've always dreamt about playing in the U.S. It was my freshman year of high school, and um, it was between turning pro, going to Italy or Slovenia, and coming here. One of my assistant coaches, Dennis Murphy, went over to uh, Romania to meet Vlad's mom, Carmen, and Vlad. It was his dream uh, to come over to the United States to, you know, to get an education and, and to play basketball. I still remember Coach Murphy just standing there. I was standing there, I was hoping my mom would say yes. Vlad's mom, Carmen, is, is a wonderful woman. She's the president of uh, uh, the Romanian Basketball Federation and very, very involved in basketball. For him to leave, it was a big thing, especially when your mom is the president of the federation because they like to keep their best players uh, at home. He's a big presence for us. He's a, you know, another option for us to score. And um, he's doing the same thing he's doing now, he was doing back then. So like what he's doing now is no surprise to me. And I, honestly, I expect it out of him because I think he's that good of a player. Chris Wright was, is a great player, and Vlad's a great player. And to have those two play so well together, it just was just very, very difficult to defend for other teams. And uh, we haven't had a one-two punch like that since they've left. His potential is unlimited, and I wouldn't be surprised where he ends up. When I visited here, I felt like kind of the same thing I feel at St. John's. They were a family. The intensity I saw when I first came here, it just I, I knew I was going to end up here. I mean, I took some other visits, but uh, on, my, on the back of my mind, I knew I was going to come here. It didn't take long for him to fit in with the guys. It was, uh, I guess, what they call a seamless transition. They liked him immediately. Uh, certainly, everybody knew that he was a good player, but he didn't act like he was a good player. Uh, he was always, always has been one of the hardest workers. Since I got here, uh, I definitely improved my ball handling. Same time, I've, I've also become stronger and uh, a little bit faster, and uh, I think a better defender. Vlad playing on the the Romanian national team, um, you know, I, I think has, has been a big positive, uh, you know, for for him, um, and, and something that that means a lot to him. I love playing for a national team. It's it, it's, it's about pride for me. It's about respect, and uh, it's about the place that. Uh, you know, I, I started basketball and I can't imagine really my summers without playing for the national team. I plan on entering the NBA draft after this. Uh, we'll see how that goes and uh, if I get drafted then I guess one of my dreams kind of came through. Then uh, if not, I'll probably head back to Europe. Uh, definitely play my national team in August and then uh, I'll see what's on the table after that. Now, Vlad's already won Patriot League Player of the Week awards twice this year, and at that rate, he's a contender for Patriot League Player of the Year in his final season. 